Which one is better, the Aura Ring or the Whoop 4.0? Now I've been wearing both the Aura Ring Gen 3 as well as the Whoop 4.0 for around eight to nine months, both on the same arm, putting them through their paces to make sure that I am making a fair comparison. Now I'll keep it real with you, I personally would choose the Aura Ring, but let me break down both so you can truly make a decision that is best for you. And for me, I really do think it comes down to three main buckets when comparing the two, form factor, health tracking, as well as the app experience. Now, when it comes to form factor, there's clearly two differences in designs here. With the Whoop, it's your standard fitness tracker that goes on the wrist. It's fairly light and you can choose between a variety of different bands, clasps, hooks, so you can make it fully customizable. It also comes with a water resistant battery pack that you can put on the device so you can have charging while on the go. It's also interchangeable with different apparel where you can wear it in the actual Whoop body clothing line, which I'm definitely trying to check out in the future. Now, the Oura Ring on the other hand is not not your traditional fitness tracker. It's a lightweight titanium between four to six grams. It only comes in four colors of silver, black, stealth, and gold. And in the box, it does come with a separate charging stand. Now, what I really love about both is that they're minimal and have a low profile design. There's no screen or crazy smartwatch features. Both are durable and water resistant with the Oura Ring going up to 330 feet and the Whoop is water resistant up to 32 feet for two hours. Now, from personal experience, I definitely used the Whoop more when I was working out at the gym. I kind I was a little bit afraid of using the Aura Ring just because of the fact that I thought I was gonna mar it up and it's a pretty expensive device. However, I did find myself wanting to use the Aura Ring a lot more throughout the day. I just found it a little bit more versatile. I could go play basketball, rev my Peloton, and then if I wanted to go out to dinner or go to a social event, this is the one that I would choose over the Whoop because I just didn't want all this stuff on my wrist. I just wanted something that was nice, fashionable, low profile, and still was able to give me my metrics for the night. And if I was to say which one had the edge in this category, I definitely would say the Aura Ring would probably went out. Now, when it comes to health tracking, you would be a bit surprised that they are both very similar. Ultimately, they both have 24 seven tracking of your sleep and your body stress due to activity. But what I noticed is that they classify the metrics a tad bit differently from each other. For example, Whoop has a recovery score while the Aura Ring has something called readiness. Now, this is where I started to notice some of the key differences as well. The Aura Ring definitely focused more on movement. For example, they have your activity goal progress on the home screen. They track your steps. Now, the Whoop on the other hand had way Way better live workout heart rate monitoring for a variety of activities versus the Aura Ring, which was just running, cycling, or walking. So if I was to say which one was the best in terms of health tracking, honestly, it's a toss up and it would be a tie in my opinion. Now, when it comes to the overall app experience, you definitely wanna pay attention to this because this is where they really start to differentiate from each other. The Whoop, the layout is super simple and easy to navigate with just a few swipes and clicks here and there. It provides a high level view of your sleep and activity, and it's really highly focused around the strain and stress that you put on your body. The three main categories that they focus on are strain, recovery, and sleep. They provide a strain coach, which is basically giving you an optimal strain number to hit during your workouts based off of your previous night's recovery score. They also have a sleep coach where they provide a sleep time and a smart alarm. And something to really highlight is they have a really dope community aspect where you can share your different stats on social media. You can connect with other communities by signing up or creating your own team so you can compare your metrics and stats, which can be kind of motivating, but also a little bit of a letdown because sometimes you're like, how does this person get 100% sleep all the time? Like how? Aura, on the other hand, is a more in-depth and a bit more insightful layout. When you load up the app, they give you the three key scores of readiness, sleep, and activity. And then when you dive into each of the tabs, it breaks down the category even further, diving deeper into the individual factors that affect the primary score. For example, there's short and long-term contributors to your readiness score, such as the recovery index. Now, something that was a little bit of a bummer, it doesn't have like a coaching feature. However, it does provide a brief summary of what to improve each morning under each individual score, which for me is pretty insightful insightful and actionable, and I don't see a lot of fitness apps doing that. Now, while the Whoop has a community tab and the Aura doesn't, the Aura does have a special feature, which is the guided and unguided meditations, along with helpful videos and content that explain the meanings and the benefits of the different numbers and graphs that you see in the app. For me, this is super helpful to break down any confusion around terms or maybe stats or metrics that you don't understand. Now, what I really do appreciate about both is they have great breakdowns of sleep performance. They each do the sleep stage breakdowns where you can see where your REM and deep sleep were, they focus on sleep efficiency, through your disturbances, timing, and they also provide areas where to improve to encourage sleep consistency. They both also offer weekly and monthly reports. Aura's weekly and monthly reports focus on those three scores that I mentioned earlier and includes high level trends in each area. And they recently released this new quarterly overview where you can understand your sleeping and heart rate patterns, the total number of steps you've taken, just kind of giving you an overall trend of how you compare against the rest of the world. 
Now the Whoop has weekly performance assessments where you can look at your weekly strain and sleep performance and trends and areas of improvement. Their monthly performance assessments are a tad bit different. It's basically the strain and sleep trends over the 30 days along with associated habits based off the journal inputs that you put in daily. Okay, so why did I choose the Aura Ring and how should you decide between the two of them? For me personally, I wanted a more in-depth, holistic look at where I can improve areas of my health. And I felt the Aura Ring gave that to me. And honestly, I just wanted something that was even more low profile than something that can go on my wrist. I have three fitness trackers, which can just be super distracting. However, when making a decision between the two, it depends on how deep you wanna go in terms of understanding how your body is performing and operating on a daily basis. So really you could see them in two separate focus areas. On the one hand, you have the Aura Ring, which is more focused on wellness and has more in-depth numbers and insights that you can dig through, while the Whoop is more focused on athletic performance and recovery. I see it better if you like a variety of different workouts. In fact, I'm curious, let me know in the comments, are you wellness focused or athletic performance focused? If you wanna check out my recent video talking about the five top Aura Ring metrics to pay attention to, check this video out right here. Or if you wanna check out another video of my favorite fitness tracker, check this playlist out right here. Remember, stay healthy, be happy, and embrace the hype fam. Woo!